The planet Mercury is making a rare transit, passing directly between Earth and the Sun, an event that won't happen again for 13 years. So the Department of Science and Innovation hosted a Mercury Transits the Sun viewing event in Pretoria. The planet Mercury appears as a small black dot moving across the face of the Sun. This is different from an eclipse when the Moon wholly or partially covers the Sun. Reporter Siposetu Stirman has more. We are coming from uh, the Science and Innovation uh, Department uh, for what they call a rare event of uh, planet uh, Mercury transits uh, the Sun and uh, currently just behind me are staffers uh, from uh, the Science and Innovation Department are uh, awaiting uh, the transit. Uh, they've got uh, the microscope there uh, just awaiting uh, to witness this. Don't know much about this. I'm out of my comfort zone here but I do have a man that knows about this. Uh, that is Charles Tagalani. Thank you very much sir, for your time. Talk to us about what's actually happening behind us right now okay. so what's happening behind us now is that we've got a, a telescope yeah. so um, on the telescope uh, we are projecting an image of, of, of the Sun firstly because it's dangerous to observe the Sun directly with your eyes it would, it would cause permanent damage to your eyes and from that projection we're able to get an image on on a white screen or, or, or on a white sheet of paper it depends on your preference and of, of, of what you want to use from that image you're going to see mercury past the face of the Sun so we call it a transit okay so what is the significance of uh, a mercury uh, passing the face of the Sun. So, so this is a similar event to a solar eclipse. They, are, they, 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 they happen over over many years. And for example, today's event is happening. Mercury is transiting the sun. The next one will, will, will only occur in 2032. Um, so that's one significance of it. And the other significance is that um, this method that, that, that of, of observing the transit of Mercury is something that has been used to actually um, develop uh, something like the 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 astronomical the, the, the astronomical unit which is used to to, to measure the distances um, between objects in our solar system all right uh, is there I see there's quite a number of people there seems to be a certain degree of interest uh, surprisingly yes there, there, there is a certain degree of, of interest within the the, 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 the the Department of Science and Innovation uh, the reason for that we've got we've, we've got various projects through the Department of Science and Innovation um, of, of and, and, and various facilities around the countries which which support um, astronomy research uh, such as the South African Radio Astronomy Observatory and the South African Astronomical Observatory as well. All right. We know that when there is an eclipse, you know, we, uh, we see, we lose this, uh, you know, uh, sunlight temporarily. But here, is there any observable change? Are we going to see the Earth shake? Are we going to lose uh, sunlight? Well, what's going to happen? Is, is there like a physical experience we're going to uh, uh, actually experience with this? Okay, so the, the issue is that, yes, Mercury is a planet which is bigger than the moon. Um, However, Mercury is very far away from us. And for the fact that it's very far away from us, we're going to see it as a very tiny object. Um, so what's going to happen today is that when we look at, at, at the sun, we are, we, are, we, are, we are just basically going to see this tiny black dot passing in front of the sun. Um, and that's, then that's actually the event that's called the transit because it, it just passes by this large uh, um, 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 spherical body, which is the sun. All right, and you're saying it's a very rare uh, event, doesn't happen often. When are, should we expect the next one? Uh, the next one should be on the 13th of November in 2032 mm -hmm. um, and yeah that's 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 13 years from now you, you, you gave a presentation this seems exciting to you and you are also encouraging uh, young people to get into the field of astronomy yeah so uh, I'm, I'm currently a PhD student studying astronomy at the University of the Witwatersrand I'm, I'm studying the, the the evolution of the universe using the 21 centimeter line of neutral hydrogen um, so that's so, so so the purpose of this research is to be able to tell um, when the first source, source in in the universe formed and and and, and, and what caused the, the, the universe to, to, to come to the state that it's currently in, which is a completely ionized state. But uh, it seems that the wait continues right now as we await this uh, transit. Sorry? Um, it seems as if uh, the wait continues right now as we await the transit. Yeah, so um, in, in, in various parts of the world, so some, some people have already started ob 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 observing it. Um, so um, what, 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 what one could also do is to, is to, is to try to go in online and, and, and observe um, other places around the world that are already obser observing this transit. So um, in, in South Africa, it should end at around five minutes past five. Uh, or rather when the sun sets so you can you can observe it until the sun sets in South Africa. Uh, Charles Tagalani, thank you very much. Well there he explained it. Uh, Mercury uh, transits uh, the sun. Uh, he's very well informed the young guy about this and is encouraging other youngsters to get into the field of astronomy so they can better explain uh, this type of events. I'm a little bit out of uh, you know my comfort zone with this uh, but it uh, seems to be an exciting uh, time here at the science and innovation department and with that I spoke to in studio.